Hey there, I'm Linz and my pronouns are they, them, theirs, and I am the creator of Queer Kid Stuff. And this is my best friend, Teddy. We are so excited to be sharing more Queer Kid Stuff with you. Together, Teddy and I are taking a look back at some of our favorite Queer Kid Stuff episodes with this compilation video. If you want to check out more cool Queer Kid stuff, like our new project, Dear Queer Kid, you can sign up for our weekly newsletter and look at our website, QueerKidStuff.com, and support us on Patreon. If you love this video, hey there! Welcome to Queer Kid Stuff! I'm Lindsay, and today we're celebrating Pride Month. We all are part of one big family. Kid stuff. It's June, everyone. That means it's LGBTQ plus Pride Month. June is a very special month for the LGBTQ plus community. We call June Pride Month and we celebrate the LGBTQ plus community in different ways for a whole entire month. It's not always easy for LGBTQ plus people to be themselves, so June is the one time every year when we all get together to celebrate our awesomeness. It's a lot of fun too. Cities all over the world celebrate Pride Month with these huge parades with music and dancing and lots and lots of rainbow flags, just like this one. Rainbow flags are a symbol of LGBTQ plus pride. There are also a bunch of different pride flags that are symbols of pride for different identities. There's the trans pride flag and the bi pride flag too. These flags are awesome symbols of LGBTQ plus pride. Today, I have a very special song for you so we can all celebrate pride together. Pride Month, everyone. We hope you take the time this month to celebrate all of the awesome things about the LGBTQ plus community. Thank you so much for watching Queer Kid Stuff. This whole month we're doing all Pride themed episodes. Next time, me and Teddy will explain why Pride happens in June every year. If you ever have any questions about what Pride is, you can always ask your grown up. And a huge, huge shout out to our patrons over at patreon.com. If you like Queer Kid Stuff and want to help us make more episodes like this one, you can support us over on Patreon. Check out the rewards over there. And that's it from me. I'll see you next time at Queer Kid Stuff. Hey there, I'm Lindsay. And I'm Teddy. Welcome, Welcome to, to Queer, Queer Kid, Kid Stuff. Stuff. Today we're celebrating Pride Month. We all are part of one big family. Teddy? Yeah, June! What's so special about June, Lindsay? Well, it's LGBTQ plus Pride Month, Teddy. We've already learned all about what Pride is with a fun new song. Just when you think that the world's gone wrong, you're not feeling strong. Shout what you feel inside. It's Pride. And 
today I wanted to talk about what makes June such a special month for LGBTQ plus people. I'm really starting to like June. It's a really awesome month and it's very special to the LGBTQ plus community. Do you know why, Teddy? Not yet, but you're gonna tell me. <laughs> That's right. So Pride Month has to do with something called the gay rights movement and activism. Oh, 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 just like when you read that book. Yeah, we read A is for Activist by Inocento Santoro for one of our storytime episodes. It's one of my favorite bedtime stories. It's a really amazing book, Teddy. And it does a really good job of teaching us all about the different parts of activism. We also learned about activism when we talked about the Women's March. Activism is all about wanting something to change and then doing something about it. Okay, so the Women's March was activism? Yep. There are many different forms of activism and many different things that people want to change. A is for Activist does a really good job of telling us what some of those things are. And people who do activism are called activists. Teddy, do you know that I'm an activist? What? I'm definitely an activist. And doing this show is a big part of my activism. This is activism? Sure is. Does that, does that make me an activist too? Definitely. And do you want to know a secret? Just watching and learning from queer kid stuff makes you an activist too. That's so cool! We're all activists! Yep! Okay, now let's get to what activism has to do with Pride Month. Oh right, that's what we were talking about. So, Pride started way back in 1969. That's when something called the Gay Rights Movement started. And that's the activism part, right? Yep, Teddy. The gay or LGBTQ plus rights movement is an activist movement trying to change unfair things about being LGBTQ plus. Back in June of 1969, some of the laws we have now that keep LGBTQ plus people safe hadn't been made yet. Like marriage equality? Well, marriage equality is part of it, but that was a pretty recent one. Back then, some people tried to tell LGBTQ plus people that they weren't allowed to meet in places where they felt safe and free to be themselves. One of those places is called the Stonewall Inn. It's actually still around today, right here in New York City. Oh, Lindsay, I wanna go, I wanna go. We totally can, Teddy. These two awesome trans women, Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera, were at the Stonewall Inn one night when this was happening, and they got angry about it and decided to stand up for their rights. This inspired a ton of other LGBTQ plus people to stand up for their rights too. I'm really glad they did that all together. Me too, Teddy. So that was a time here in the U.S. that different groups of people were using something called protest, a form of activism, to make their voices heard and make the government listen to them and help them change these unfair laws. Now we call it the gay rights movement. Okay, and that's the activism and movement stuff, right? Because they're trying to change something? Yep, and it's still going on today. We all stood up for our rights for marriage equality, which was a huge win for LGBTQ plus people. And now we're all standing up together again for something called bathroom laws, which are really unfair to trans people and trans kids. It's not cool to treat anyone unfairly. You're definitely right about that, Teddy. So a big part of Pride is remembering the very beginning of the movement that night with Marsha and Sylvia at the Stonewall Inn. The parade that happens in New York every year actually marches right in front of Stonewall. Whoa, there's a lot more to Pride than rainbows and flags. Pride is so, so important and has a lot of meaning behind it. But the rainbows and flags and celebration are all very important too. I love celebrating Pride with you, Lindsay. I really like celebrating Pride with you too, Teddy. Thank you so much for watching Queer Kid Stuff. This whole month we're doing all Pride themed episodes. If you have 
any questions about Pride, you can always ask your grown-up. A huge thank you to our supporters over at Patreon. They are the best. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every other Wednesday for season two. That's it from me and Teddy. We'll see you next time at Queer Kid Stuff. Hey there, I'm Lindsay. And I'm Teddy. Welcome, Welcome to, to Queer, Queer Kid, Kid Stuff. Stuff. Today we're celebrating Pride Month and talking about drag. Queer Kid Stuff. It's LGBTQ plus Pride Month, Teddy. Today, we're going to learn about something called drag. You ready, Teddy? Ready. Okay, so Teddy, I've got a question for you. Okay, Lindsay. Do you ever play dress up with your friends? All the time. Great, drag is kind of like dress up, but it's a very specific kind of dress up and adults can do it too. Dress up is my favorite, Lindsay. I'm a big fan too, Teddy. I'm gonna bring in some help on this one. Hi, Lindsay, hi, Teddy. Hey! Hi! Thanks so much for helping me out today. Teddy, this is my friend, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Can I ask you two questions before we start? What are your pronouns and how do you identify? I identify as male and I use he, his pronouns. Jeff. I was just about to tell Teddy all about what drag is. Think you can give us a definition? Sure. Drag is when you dress up as a gender that's not your own. And it's usually really exaggerated. Exagger what? Exaggerated. That means it's over the top or not realistic. People usually use a ton of makeup and wear really awesome costumes when they're in drag. Okay, I get it. So, some drag you might see are boys dressing up as girls and girls dressing up as boys. These are called drag queens and drag kings. You can't tell right now, but I'm actually a drag queen. What? <laughs> yeah, give me one second and I'll introduce you to Mr. Hi, Teddy. Hi, Lindsay. Hi! Hi. Um, uh, Mr. Mr. Yeah, Teddy. Um. Lindsay told me you're a drag queen. I am. Should I ask my questions again, even though I already asked Jeff? Yeah, you might actually get different answers from Mr. than you did from Jeff. Oh, okay. Mr., what are your pronouns and how do you identify? Well, when I'm in drag, I like she as my pronoun. But honey, you can call me whatever you want. <laughs> okay. Mr., I have a couple other questions for you. Sure. Why do you have a beard? When I do drag, I love to push the boundaries of gender. And also, doesn't it look great? It definitely does. What does a drag queen do? Drag queens are the hosts of the queer community. We make sure everyone's having a good time, whether that's performing lip sync numbers, singing live, or just doing some dance shows. That's actually kind of like us, Teddy. We host Queer Kid Stuff. Yeah, just like us. So, are drag queens also transgender? They can be. Some of my favorite performers are trans people. <gasps> are you royalty because you're a queen? Do I look like royalty, Teddy? You do to me. <laughs> Thanks. What's your favorite song to lip sync? Well, most drag queens just perform some pop numbers. I like to do something different and perform some rock and roll numbers. Rock on, mister! What's the difference between Jeff and mister? Lots of makeup. <laughs> wow. How long does it take you to do your makeup? Oh, actually, we're gonna do a video on that next week. We're gonna show you how Jeff transforms into mister. I'm really excited for you to see that. You've got some excellent questions, Teddy. Do you think you understand drag a little bit more now? Oh, yeah. I'm so glad. Well, I have to head out now. Thanks for having me. Thanks so much for coming. Bye. 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 Miss Tur is so cool. Drag is so cool. I want to play dress up and wear fancy dresses and put on makeup and do all those cool you things. You totally can, Teddy. Thank you so much for watching Queer Kids Stuff. This whole month we're doing all Pride themed episodes. If you have any questions about drag, you can always ask your grown up. A huge thank you to our supporters over at Patreon. They're the best. 
Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every other Wednesday for season two episodes. And that's it from me and Teddy. We'll, we'll see, see you next, next time at Queer, Queer Kids Kids Stuff. Dear friends, welcome to Queer Kid Stuff. I'm Lindsay. And I'm Teddy. And today we're celebrating Pride Month by spreading queer joy. Whoa, that's what your t-shirt says. Here at Queer Kid Stuff. You ready, Teddy? Ready, Lindsay. Okay. Teddy, do you know what month it is? It's Pride Month! That's right, Teddy. And can you remind our friends what Pride Month is? Pride Month is when is when queer people celebrate and there's a big parade and people are happy and there's lots and lots of glitter. Big parades and celebrations are a huge part of Pride Month, Teddy. It's the one month every year when the LGBTQ plus community comes together to celebrate. It commemorates the anniversary of the Stonewall Riots. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I remember. Roll tape. Back in June of 1969, some of the laws we have now that keep LGBTQ plus people safe hadn't been made yet. Like marriage equality? Well, marriage equality is part of it, but that was a pretty recent one. Back then, some people tried to tell LGBTQ plus people that they weren't allowed to meet in places where they felt safe and free to be themselves. One of those places is called the Stonewall Inn. It's actually still around today, right here in New York City. Oh, Lindsay, I want to go, I want to go. We totally can, Teddy. These two awesome trans women, Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera, were at the Stonewall Inn one night when this was happening, and they got angry about it and decided to stand up for their rights. This inspired a ton of other LGBTQ plus people to stand up for their rights too. And this is a super special Pride Month because it's the 50th anniversary of Stonewall. The Stonewall riots happened 50 years ago. Whoa. Because this Pride Month is so special, I've got a big surprise for you and our friends. What is it? What is it? What is it? We're celebrating Pride this year by spreading queer joy. What does that mean? It means we're spreading our queer joy, our queer pride, our queer happiness, our queer celebration this whole month. We're bringing everyone in the LGBTQ plus community together to celebrate this very special Pride Month with us right here at Queer Kid Stuff. Woohoo! We have a ton of new videos for you. For this whole month, we've teamed up with the drag queens from Drag Queen Story Hour right here in New York City. They bring drag queens into libraries, read LGBTQ plus picture books, do crafts, and sing songs. That sounds like fun. It's really amazing what they do. They have Drag Queen Story Hour all over the country. Wow. They'll teach us how to make our own flags and tutus, and we'll read stories and even meet some very special guests. That's so much stuff. And I have an even bigger surprise. Another surprise? To help us spread queer joy, we made an extra special Pride music video just to celebrate this super special ah! I am so excited for you to see everything we've been working on and to spread queer joy with you. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and social media so you don't miss out. And if you like my t-shirt, you can get your very own by clicking down below and help us spread queer joy this whole month. That's it for today. Happy Pride, and we'll see you next time at Queer Kids hey Stuff. Hey there, welcome to Queer Kids Stuff. I'm Lindsay. And I'm Teddy. Today, we're learning how to make our very own flags with Drag Queen Story Hour. Yay! Queer Kids Stuff. You are enough here at Queer Kids Stuff. You ready, Teddy? Ready, Lindsay. Okay, let's bring in the queens. Hello! Oh, hi! <laughs> I'm Harmonica. And I'm Reverend Yolanda, and we're here to teach you how to make pride flags. Oh, awesome. Before we get started, Teddy has a few questions for you. Um, uh, what are your pronouns and how do you identify? Oh. 
My pronouns are she and her, and I identify as harmonica. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I'm also she and her, and I identify as trans femme genderqueer. Awesome. <laughs> All right, let's learn how to make our pride flags. Now, great. Before we start making the flags, Yolanda and I brought some examples just so you can see how it's done. And in the end, you'll have your own pride flag. <laughs> And I identify as trans, so I made a trans pride flag. It's just a little bit different than the rainbow flag. There are lots of different pride flags today. There's a bi pride flag, and an intersex pride flag, and a pansexual pride flag, non-binary pride flag. Is there a bear pride flag? <laughs> uh, well, technically yes, but let's stick with the rainbow flag today, Teddy. Now, let's gather our supplies. First, you'll need a colored construction paper and a scissors and make sure you have a grown-up help you with the scissors. Mm -hmm. And we'll probably need glue and some sticks. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So for step two, you want to pick the colors that you want for your flag and cut them into very thick strips, sort of like this. Lindsay, can you help me with the scissors? I don't have thumbs. Of course, Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> now line the colors up in the order that you want them and get your glue stick out. So now we're going to line up all the pieces of the flag together. So take your glue stick and carefully put glue on one half of your strip like that. Mm -hmm. And then take the next strip in line and stick it on top of the gluey part of the first strip. There you go. Now the two strips are stuck together. <laughs> <laughs> and keep doing that until all your strips are glued together like this. I like the one you have. Oh, okay. oh yeah. beautiful. <laughs> well, now you need to take out your sticks and glue the sticks to the colors of the construction paper. Okay. And all you have to do is glue the stick to the flag and you're done. Let the glue dry for a few minutes and you're done. Yeah. I made my very own pride flag. Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much for teaching us how to make our very own pride flags. Of You're course. welcome. You're so welcome. Awesome. The instructions for this craft are on our Instagram, at Queer Kid Stuff. We're spreading queer joy this month, so I wanted to thank Harmonica and Yolanda for helping us spread queer joy with Drag Queen Story Hour. And if you like my shirt, you can get it down below just by clicking the link. And that's it for us today. We'll see you, we'll next, see you next time, time at Queer, Queer Kids Stuff. Stuff. Bye. Bye. Just when you think that the world's gone wrong, you're not feeling strong. Shout what you feel inside. It's pride. Summer has come. It's that time of year to be happy and queer. Put all your fears aside for pride. What you feel inside It's pride It's pride It's pride And sometimes you might mope With all there is to cope with But the community's here We're happy and queer we stand up and fight for our rights so oh, the future is bright It's bright So let's get together and all join hands United we stand so